Uh, globally, all projections indicate that we're going to significantly increase the amount of energy uh, that the world consumes in the future. All right, my name is Larry Baxter, founder of Sustainable Energy Solutions. Our company is dedicated to finding cost-effective and energy-efficient solutions to global climate change problems, particularly those associated with power generation. The premise of the process is that we unavoidably will be using fossil fuels, in particular uh, natural gas and coal, for quite some time in the future. It's not realistic that we can fulfill all of our energy demands with renewable fuels. And so we need to come up with some way of addressing the, the climate change impacts of these fossil fuels. Uh, we are developing a technology that was invented uh, about four years ago now. The, uh, the concept for the idea came to me while I was on a sabbatical in Europe. And uh, could change uh, everything about the future of power generation in terms of the impact on climate change and the impact on a lot of other environmental uh, issues. Sustainable Energy Solutions is a company that had its inception and beginning in the year 2008. We're excited with the technology that we're developing and commercializing, cryogenic carbon capture, the ability for us to take CO2 and desublimate it from, uh, from flue gas. I'm Larry Baker, uh, Chief Operating Officer for Sustainable Energy Solutions. At this point in our uh, development, we've uh, proven the technology at a bench scale basis and uh, we're actively working on a skid, two skid scale processes. This is the bench system, our first system, fully integrated system that we have built to model and to run the cryogenic carbon capture process. The bench project is separated into three main stages. The first is dedicated to cooling the process. In this experimental bench unit, we use an external refrigeration system to bring the temperatures well below minus 120 degrees Celsius. To maintain that temperature, a very fine insulation called perlite is used to encase the entire system. In the next stage of the bench, the actual removal and capture of the carbon dioxide takes place. This is done by using a bubbler system. Essentially, the simulated flue gas, which is composed of carbon dioxide and nitrogen, bubbles up through a reservoir of very cold contact liquid. This desublimates the carbon dioxide into solid CO2 while allowing the nitrogen to escape as a gas. The final stage of the bench is dedicated to further refining the captured CO2 and turning it into a pure stream of liquid CO2. The system of valves, pumps, and sensors is controlled by an automated a software system that is capable of controlling the flow rate, pressure, and the temperature. The bench has demonstrated successful capture exceeding 95% from a simulated flue gas stream. These tests confirm that cryogenic carbon capture is both viable and efficient, motivating a further scale up of the process. So today I'm going to talk to you about the Hyperion bench scale system. Uh, it's four times larger than the original bench system we designed under funding from the state of Wyoming. It has a higher flow rate, it is more efficient, it is more compact. We're designing it for transportability, we'd like to take it up and show it off on site at existing coal fired fire plants. Cryogenic carbon capture is awesome. It's, it's a very efficient process. And it's effective at removing so many different pollutants. So I got excited about cryogenic carbon capture when I realized its potential to change the energy industry, uh, but also has the potential to actually change the composition of the world's atmosphere, which is pretty exciting. Um, not many technologies can say that about themselves. So here at Sustainable Energy Solutions, we're not only excited about the technology that we're developing and commercializing, but we're excited with a group of individuals, our employees. And the thing I like most about Sustainable Energy Solutions is it's a such tight-knit, small group of engineers working on huge worldwide problems.